Hello, future designers and developers. We are going to talk about classes. As you can see at the top right here, this is a video about classes. So what is a class? A class is an attribute that we can give a tag, such as body, h1, or div, any of them really, and essentially make that into a group of its own. So when we go into CS, we can modify just that uh, h1, div, group, tag, whatever we have done. So in the last video, I showed you how to use divs. So let's make a new div over here and we are going to say this div has inside an h1 that says i want this to be a different color so right now it has the same cs as our previous div this div up here is just a pretty standard div uh, but I changed the background of it to be green. I changed it to be green and I made the color centered. So let's say I really want this div. Uh, it, this isn't really my heading anymore. We have this up here to be like the main introduction to it. So I'm gonna say that this class right here, class is equal to, and then in quotations, I'm gonna give it a name. So uh, for this one, uh, let's call it Mm, do, 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 do. Uh, let's call it blue because I'm going to make the background blue. So now when I go into CS, I can add in a dot blue. And that is referring to the class that I made inside of the other div. So I can now change this background color and say that is equal to hashtag 00000FM. Oh, I did one more. I needed to. There we go. And now that is blue. So we can also get very specific with our classes. Specifically, if we have, say we want to, let me go back over here and say that this H1, we're also going to give a class of blue. So we'll say class, is equal to blue. Now that H1 also has that blue class applied to it. But what if I just want to make changes to this div class over here? I would do a div.blue. And now it knows that I am specifically talking about a div that has the class blue, not anything that has the class blue. If I wanted to edit that H1 with the blue, I would then I could still have a dot blue, or I can do the h1 dot blue and throw in here. Um, let's do another background color because I think it's the easiest to see. And we'll do hashtag that. And close that up. Ah, that's not a one. We'll just do gray. There we go. So that is a real quick tutorial on how to use classes. We're going to be using classes in our next cover video. So if you want to go back and rewatch this one or watch ahead, you're going to have more opportunities to learn more about classes. And if those don't do it for you, just send me an email. I'd be happy to tell. All right. Talk to you later.